Good morning guys, looking down at the canal and up at the sun. Um, there is a be beautiful sun up there, absolutely lovely, the gorgeous star. So I've been doing a bit of a sun gazing and you know the thing is, I think I'm going to have to go all the way back to like four minutes or something because to be honest I haven't seen the sun and I haven't even been motivated to get up in the morning at sunrise because uh, hi guys because um, hello David how are you uh, I haven't even been motivated because when I get up and I look out of the window or when I just pull the you know, my, my head of my bed is by the window and I pull the curtain aside um, I just see this awful um, whiteness and I don't want to go out in it, do you know what I mean? I don't see the point in getting up that early and uh, walking down the road to the park, getting the dogs out to just sit and look at uh, a blurred mess so I wanted us to stop here so you could actually see that the sun is in the sky uh, generally this is the way that I walk to the uh, tree museum around this old industrial estate because I can see the sun uh, when I get over the park often I won't see it until it's uh, quite, quite risen so this is it but it's still paradise, guys. Do you know what I mean? Um, and although I've really enjoyed drinking from uh, the stream at Wayne Body Wood, there is no way I shall drink from there. <coughs> Excuse me. We used to go here along that canal. Oh, gosh. Two or three, maybe even four times a week. Um, and those who watch Orgasmic, I'm sure, uh, have got memories of uh, things to do with this canal. Uh, but Honey got very ill because the water is very polluted, or it was. Uh, they've had big clean-up operations, but I think in some areas it's still, uh, you know, not good. And uh, Honey became very 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 ill um, she had severe jaundice and uh, her eyes were yellow her gums were yellow uh, she was in intensive care and it was thought that she might not uh, actually make it through so like for me um, taking her there and, and I did so love walking by the canal. Gosh, the amount of uh, the amount of things that we saw walking along there was incredible. And uh, there's a there is a grass pathway, and I used to do it barefoot. Hey ho, maybe I'll go and do that again. Maybe that's all to do with my fears. You know. Maybe it, it never was the canal. Maybe it was just something that she uh, picked up along the way. But you see, Honey loves swimming. And <laughs> she adores to chase the moor hens. They make such a lovely noise. And uh, it's so comical, really, to watch her. Uh, very, very funny. And she'd swim and Ebby would be on the side kind of saying, No, they've gone down that way giving her direction um, yeah maybe it's all to do with my fears and this is a place where I wouldn't really walk barefoot because so many people use uh, industrial estates as dumping grounds and um, yeah it's not good to walk barefoot but I love the colours that ivy goes don't you you know people uh, just kind of dismiss Ivy. But I'm sure that there is something about it. 
that uh, we should notice. Look at that horrific thing. Won't it be wonderful when the day comes that that is no longer how we get our electricity with those horrible monstrosities, pylons that vibrate. Oh, I saw a house once. I think I showed it you. It was by the canal further along by a pub called the Greyhound that I take mum to um, for a meal, home-cooked fare. Absolutely delicious. And uh, look at the moss. It's just like... It's just saying every little brick I'm going to outline. How fantastic. And um, there was a house just just down from it and I thought wow you know it was an old lock keepers uh, cottage and I thought wow um, but when we kind of went and had a look there was a huge great big pylon in its back garden and I thought oh my word and all you can hear is this like horrible uh, and I do wonder to myself, how is it all going to be replaced? Look at David on top of the roof. How is it all going to be replaced? What is going to happen? I don't know. I don't know, but I do know this. Um, I've said it before. I may not trust myself. And I might not trust anybody else on this planet, but I trust God. I surely do. So, uh, hello guys. Uh, isn't it lovely? They've got, oh look, there's a, a plane that isn't putting out uh, a trail. How can that be? Wonderful. I'd rather look at the seagulls though, wouldn't you? Right, so we're going to go now. And uh, it's, it's probably past... Did I even do the time? I don't think I did. Gosh, what's the matter with me? Well, it's now 6.50. I left the house at quarter past six, so... Hmm. And uh, sunrise this morning was at uh, 5.50. So 10 to 6. Uh, so anyway, we've done a bit of sun gazing and uh, I think I am going to have to go back to like four minutes and just start all over again because I noticed even then just gazing, I mean, okay, I've just realised that it's past the time, although I have been doing it uh, since I arrived, uh, is not particularly good. Now look at these magnificent trees. Uh, if any of you have watched the Anastasia series, uh, read it, sorry. Uh, absolutely amazing books. Oh gosh, I read them a few, quite a few years ago now. Like, they were a series, I think uh, I read up to book number six. Um, it's Russian books. Ooh, uh, absolutely incredible. Oh wow, look at this, guys. Absolutely incredible. Um, I loved it anyway, the books. And that is all about um, the powers that we have that we don't know. Uh, and uh, people thinking about needing transportation. Well, Anastasia kind of flies around all over the place. Look, there's pine cones everywhere here. and. I'm thinking I might come and get them later. Anyway, this magnificent building here is, um, this was Cash's Lane, and Cash's made all of the embroidery silks uh, for, for most of the world, actually. And
so many people had those put in those it's the very top slatted part of the chimney um, even in our house when we had the chimney done that had to come off but look at that it's beautiful really everything is so beautiful it just depends on how you look and what you see when you do I mean look up there now those guys are not stupid it's nice and warm up there and they're all on the chimney pot each and uh, when I go over the park I doubt I'll even have to uh, call them I think they'll just arrive so I'll leave you with uh, the lovely picture of Cash's Lane and cedar trees. And I'm going right over there. The park is just over there, so I'm going. But I uh, still got this milky blue sky, guys. Right. From Honey and Ebby and my booted feet, it's goodbye. Catch you in a moment. Bye.